Yeah, great. I'm going to take some comments here on Facebook because I've been given these uh, comments and starting again. One, Tashaba saying that what are the various methods of sourcing funding, yes. particularly for property development, start off with no previous financial record. They say the NEF is broke while IDC no longer funds the property market. Banks require financial records from a startup. Again, they require financial records, but yes. you're a startup. Yes. You're going into how are you even supposed to, well, to win well, this? I, I think with respect that the person who's posted that comment doesn't understand, and I'll make the statement again. Yeah. If you want to own a chicken farm, you first start by selling eggs. If he wants to be a property developer, he should probably start by getting properties that are available, renting them out, generating a financial track record, generating cash flows, proving he can run a business, learning mistakes, owning three, four, maybe five flats. Then he can build an apartment building 60 flats. Yeah. So we, we have to get the thinking, and I, I have to say this, we have to get the thinking of black people right. We have to get what this right. What do you right, mean by guys. that? Well, uh, F&B wasn't built overnight. Neither was APSA. So how do you think you're going to build a large business which employs thousands of people overnight and someone must give you capital? It doesn't work that way. The mm. single, probably the single worst thing we did in this country, psyche, when we did BE transactions, is we took people that had no money, gave them access to 26% of companies built over hundreds of years and created instant wealth. So yeah. now everybody wants instant, instant wealth. wealth. Because nobody understands the practical tools of actually 100%. building those organizations. You come into my business, I can tell you every single moving part because I built it. I can tell you the IT, the infrastructure, structure, the operations, the HR, the marketing, the finance, the working capital cycles, yeah. I built it. Nobody came and was just there. I built it from scratch. And it's important for, especially, and I, I'm passionate about saying this to black people specifically, mm. we have to start where we are. We have to start where we are and build with the small steps. Okay, great. So we've spoken about how perhaps the redundancy of our business plans. Sure. We've looked at how we need to start changing our mindset. So now I'm going to ask you the question of where do I start? Be practical with me, okay? So let's use mm. the person that has got a property uh, company, for example. Mm. You've got property there. You want to get into the property market. You don't have capital. You are a startup. Mm. How do I start? My business plan is redundant, as you mentioned. My mindset is clearly uh, messed up a little bit. How do I start and how do I get this uh, the formula right? With your permission, let me use a different example. Yeah. Yes. Yesterday, I got a, in, uh, we got an approach from a young lady who was looking to raise 5 million rand to buy a chicken farm. And the chicken farm she wants to buy is run and owned by white people who want to leave for whatever reason. Mm. And she's saying, I want to buy the chicken farm. So I, I went back to her and I said, what proof have you got of the financial track record of that business? One, two, and have you ever run a farm in, of any type? The yeah. answer was no. So this is what I said to her. I said to her, I will give you 50,000 rand to go and buy eggs at a pick and pay. Just go to pick and pay and buy some eggs. Take those eggs and find people standing in street corners and sell those eggs at a batch of half a dozen each. That's six each. So at a batch of half a dozen each, you can probably take that 50,000 to 175. Yeah. You will do this cycle iteratively until you move it from 50,000 rand to half a million. Once you've proven to me you can retail eggs, then I might think about getting you into a supply relationship with somebody who creates the eggs so you can buy at a lower cost and keep retailing. Let's start you first on the front end. Once you've gotten to one, maybe two million retailing eggs, knowing who the customers are that buy the eggs, then I might think about buying you a chicken farm because by the time you have the chickens and they give you the eggs, you now understand how the entire cycle works. Mm. But I'm not going to give you three million rand to buy a farm and buildings and put eggs in it and chickens and then sit and wait for some And then what about people that are watching the show right now and thinking, no, but why are you not doing this? It's all about radical economic transformation. What's your stance on that? Radical economic... Well, radical I feel like economic, I just started you or Radical something. economic transformation starts in the mind. Why do, you think that, why do you think there is no country in the world where Jewish people are poor? You think that's by mistake? Just think about that logically. Mm. Why do you think even in our own communities, Indians specifically, Asian Indians who are Muslim, are phenomenal business people? You think that's by mistake? Mm. No, it's because the grandfather started with a, with a dry cleaner. When the grandfather passed, he left the dry cleaner to, to the father who created a fast food and the dry cleaner. The father leaves the fast food and the dry cleaner with the son who then creates a hardware store. By the time you go to the township, they've got the entire block and they run it. We have to start as black people by understanding. You're not going to get a Range Rover tomorrow. Yeah. Start where you are, do what you have to do, so you can do what you want to do. And let's celebrate each other's success. And I mean real successes. Mm. Not the stuff that comes out of the paper, so-and-so has bought this car, so-and-so is at this event. No. If you're at a, if, look, if you're at a JNB event, your odds are you're not an entrepreneur. A real entrepreneur doesn't have time to be at yeah, those events. Yeah, people are clapping right now in <laughs> the studio. No, There's because, actually clapping that is happening in the because studio. Because a real entrepreneur, I've, I, I, I get invited all the time, I'm on the VIP list all the time. I'm never there because I'm trading, I'm running a business, I've got things to do, mm. right? It's important for entrepreneurs to 
understand entrepreneurship is a difficult thing you're in the dark engine room building the engine to this car for the first 10 years of your business but once it's done it's going to be a phenomenal ride to the end real economic transformation for Tenajenga Bantabamyama is starting things we own and owning the things we say we own not being seen to own it is about time I think we need to talk about the perception of success versus the reality of it if you're driving a 200,000 rand car and you bought it cash and I rock up in a 4 million rand car that I owe, who's wealthy? Me. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us this morning.